Variables are a great way to write quite complex DAX statements in a more simplified way. Really the only trick to variables is to just understand this, this syntax, how you actually uh, need to write a variable to make it actually work within, um, within the DAX formula bar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of different intricacies around variables and then also just generally how you actually set these up effectively in your, um, in, in, in your Power BI models. Now, the first thing to note with variables is that you can actually create a variable of a result, say a calculation of what's called a scalar calculation, but you can also um, create a variable of a table. So like a filter, a table filter. So we'll go through uh, both um, both those options. First off, let's create a simple uh, a simple calculation uh, where we are going to look at total. We're going to look at total um, total sales total sales. Actually, we're going to look at total export sales now. You first of all have to write the same, you write the name of the measure, then an equal sign. But then what you want to do is you want to actually write uh, VAR var for variable. And then I also like to just dump down to another row. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable, uh, which I'm going to call export sales. And you see it's a different color. And then I'm going to create a table uh, of all my sales, but only the ones that are export. Like so. So I've now captured, I'm now going to capture this table within this variable. Now remember, you don't have to do it this way because you could just write a simple measure, but variables allow you to simplify your code. They allow you to simplify it, make it easier to read. So now I want to go down here, I want to go return. And now I'm actually going to um, write my actual um, my actual calculation. And in this case, I'm going to go calculate. I'm going to go total sales. Total sales. Now, instead of writing this filter statement, all I have to go uh, uh, right now is my variable, which is export sales. And so you'll see here that it actually um, tells you that it's a variable. It's a different um, it's a different icon. Uh, and if we go um, tab, you'll see that it's again a different color. And as you can see, that actually ra uh, reads slightly easier than if you place this all within one calculate statement. Now, for, you can write very complex DAX measures, and by writing variables, it just simplifies things um, down quite significantly um, you know, compared to you know, if you were to write these um, 10 line, you know, 10 line DAX formulas. So we've created, so we can uh, push into here and then I'm put, going to put total export sales in there. And you'll see that that did not actually work correctly because I wasn't meant to do that. And now that is a correct answer that all was unnecessary in this case, because um, all, all it was doing there was actually giving us, um, giving us uh, all sales through time. So probably what we wanted to do there was actually go all uh, export. All, all channel, in this case sales channel, and then that's going to give us the correct answer. It's actually going to give us the same answer in this case, it doesn't really matter, but this would probably be the more correct way. So instead of removing filters on every single sale and just getting every single result, uh, we're actually going uh, across every single um, uh, context and, and customer name, we're actually going to only remove the filter on channel and then replace the filter back on. Cool. Okay, so now what we can also do is we can actually create multiple variables. So I could create a variable which says, uh, for instance, days. I could call it days and I can go 90 days. And I could then utilize that days or that number, that scalar value inside here. And I could go filter. Uh, so all, let's go all dates. In this case, all dates. And I want to filter the date if it's less than uh, or less than today and date is 
greater the date column is greater than or equal to today minus days. So we can even write something that's slightly more complex like this. And you'll see that that doesn't actually bring up anything because the data doesn't actually go back that far. But now we can actually change and input different days here. So that's just another way that you can utilize variables. And what we could even do, just to take it one step further, we could create another variable, which was um, something like included dates, included dates. And we could actually add this entire this entire filter function here and replace this with included dates like so and you see that that reads slightly easier um, if you uh, if you look at it from a syntax perspective so while there's a little bit of setup here and a little bit of knowledge in terms of uh, the, the DAX formula that you're using you can see here that the end calculation is a, a little bit more intuitive because all we're doing is saying calculate total sales by our export sales and the included dates. And you'll see here that we can do multiple variables. And then what you could also do to make it even easier for yourself is you can actually write comments in here and say this, uh, this calculation uh, is only um, for export, export sales within certain um, selected Time frame, something like that. So now you're actually just uh, making, putting far more detail into measures. They're going to be um, far more easier for you, for yourself to understand at a later point, but even you know, from a continuity perspective for your colleagues, if they want to understand what's going on as well. So you can sometimes, you know, these can sometimes become quite complex, especially if someone doesn't know DAX, but so this is a, you know, this is a far easier way to break things down um, and, and help people understand what's actually going on. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.